What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Cannot tell you guys how excited I am for tomorrow. I think we're going to have a, a good day of boxing. Tomorrow, we have Gennady Golovkin versus Ishida. Um, that fight, I'm going to stream, so it's just something to watch. And since it's happening in Monaco, it will most likely be on before the, the Brandon rios Mike Alvarado rematch, so I'll be able to see all fights without having to really... Um, go back and watch them. Looking forward to tomorrow. Um, great night of boxing. It looks like Mike Alvarado versus Brandon Rios obviously is the main event. What I'm looking most forward to. The first fight was definitely thrilling. Um, it's like a roller coaster ride, and that's why we watch the sport of boxing. Um, they did weigh in today. Mike Alvarado weighed 140 exactly. Initially, Brandon Rios weighed 140.5. So he had to weigh in naked, so they used the towel to cover him up. He re-weighed in at 140, and the fight is all set to go. One thing I didn't report, I don't know if you guys know, but I guess Mike Alvarado got in some type of unrelated altercation um, a little while ago. So if you watch the road to Alvarado Rios 2, you'll notice he had some like cuts and lacerations on his face. Um, I haven't really heard details, but I'm assuming some kind of club fight or... Um, I don't really know. I don't know the details, so I'm not here to speculate. But he has some kind of lacerations and cuts on his face. Um, so hopefully that doesn't pose a problem. He said it shouldn't pose a problem um, in this particular fight. I just want this fight to have a clear and concise definitive winner. I did do a prediction video where I have Rios winning the rematch. Hard fight to pick. Um, I definitely think Alvarado has a chance. It's not like a uh, walk in the park for Brandon Rios. However... Um, I think Alvarado, Alvarado had more of a problem taking Brandon Rios' shot than the other way around. And eventually, I think Brandon Rios is going to force him into an exchange and just try to land something big. And that's a lot of pressure to be on the back foot and to be outboxing an opponent. Um, look at Sergio Martinez versus Chavez Jr. He boxed beautifully for 11 rounds and then... That 12th round, one fatal mistake, got sloppy, careless, got caught, and he almost paid the price for it. Or look at a fight like um, Miguel Cotto versus Antonio Margarito. That just takes a lot of energy to outbox your opponent. You have to have great conditioning, especially when you have an opponent. And Margarito is really similar to Rios in the sense of their stalkerish types of fighters that rely on pressure. And they take punishment in order to dish it out. So they take whatever you have outgoing just so you can feel what they have incoming. So they'll endure the, the blow after blow after blow and keep coming to the point where it's like overwhelming amount of pressure. So I think Miguel Cotto versus Margarito Part 2 is an excellent example of it. Um, due to Margarito's eye being fucked up by Pacquiao, um, that definitely played a significant part in that particular fight. Who knows what would happen? Again, it's just speculation, but just watching the pace of the fight, it looked like Cotto was starting to get a little bit winded. He did win, it, win that fight, and I give all the props to Cotto for that win and avenging his first ever loss, but um, it looked like the tides could have turned. We just don't know because it was stopped because I got um, beat to oblivion. So with Brandon Rios and Mike Alvarado, I see it kind of being the same way. I feel like at some point, um, Alvarado's going to stand his ground. He's going to have to stand his ground. I mean, Rios is going to keep taking shots. Um, so I just see Brandon Rios at some point stopping him just because he's going to force him into that ch exchange. He's good at cutting off the ring. And either way, I'm really looking forward to it. I think it's a hell of a matchup. Uh, both fighters have tremendous heart. Both fighters have a chin. Alvarado, even though he was badly hurt, he wasn't knocked out cold. If Rios can knock Alvarado out cold, vice versa. If Alvarado can knock Rios out cold, those are huge statements for both fighters. And I look to see um, bigger things from them. Possibly a Timothy Bradley, Ruslan Provotnikov, Manny Pacquiao matchup. Um, I think those are potential fights that Top Rank has discussed. Another thing, I made a video about this. I'll put it in the video responses. Terrence Crawford versus Bredis Prescott. I think that's a good fight. A lot of people don't know Terrence Crawford, but I think he's going to start raising some eyebrows in the boxing world. Um, I can't gauge exactly how good he is based on the level of opposition he's had. 
Um, but he looks like he has some some intangibles and it looks like he has some power. So I'm anxious. It's uh, definitely a prospect, a newcomer to keep your eye out for. Greatest Prescott, we all know he has heavy hands. Um, he hasn't looked great in some of his recent fights, but I think this is a significant step up for Crawford. And it'll really show us a lot about what Crawford is really like, what his power is like. Um, if he can beat him more convincingly than Bredis Prescott versus Mike Alvarado, um, because Bredis Prescott was winning the Alvarado fight at, at the beginning, and then he got stopped and uh, whatever else. But if Terrence Crawford can beat um, Bredis Prescott in a more impressive fashion, then that's going to say a lot to me. So I look forward to that particular fight. I think it's going to be a great fight as long as it lasts. I do have Terrence Crawford winning by stoppage. Um, just a great night of boxing. I want to know also, what do you guys think of Brandon Rios adding to his training camp, Angel Heredia, who, as you guys know, worked with Marquez in the, the fourth fight. He's been working with Marquez. Um, he was previously linked to distributing PEDs, steroids to athletes. He has since, I think, become clean and become an advocate against doping. Um, so what do you guys think? And then another thing, he's also working. I did a video about uh, Jean Pascal added Roy Jones Jr. to his training camp. I think that's a good look for Pascal. But he also worked with Angel Heredia. So it looks like after the Marquez knockout, a lot of people are interested in Angel Heredia being a strength and conditioning coach on their team. Um, so what do you guys think of him still being able to get work do you think that's um, bad for the sport? Do you think he should be banned and not be able to work with any of these athletes? Do you think he cleaned up his act? Let me know what you guys think as that. As far as that, and let me know what you guys think of Brandon Rios, Alvarado. Who do you expect to win? What rounds? Leave your predictions here, and tomorrow night we will decide who was right and who was wrong. That's all I gotta say. Until next video, it's ego signing off.